Hello everyone, welcome back. Today is all about caramel sauce. I have shown you before how to make caramel sauce and guess what? I am going to show you an even simpler way of making caramel sauce. This caramel sauce that I'm going to show you, no butter because I don't quite like the idea of having butter in my drinks and this caramel sauce is perfect for coffee, tea, any type of drinks that you think need caramel. Caramel is for me, the mother of all sauce, probably the sister or the brother of chocolate sauce. So if you can make them at home, it will save you a lot of money as well as making sure that you know exactly what's in there and then you can grab any time you need to make use of some caramel sauce for your drink. Caramel macchiato. So you must always have some of these in your refrigerator. Now I have here two bottles of caramel sauce. One is the lighter color and one is a darker color. Which one you prefer depends on how you make it. So I'm going to show you two different ways of making it. One is when I got impatient and I poured my cream before it turns to golden brown. And the other is when it's already golden brown and it came up to this beautiful color. For those of you that already have a copy of my book, All Things Milk Tea or The Basic Barista, you will find a recipe for salted caramel sauce. Very simple very budget friendly. You may multiply the proportions for larger batches. We will need sugar, plain water, cream. For the cream use room temperature to avoid grainy caramel sauce. Vanilla extract or vanilla flavor. The taste of the resulting caramel sauce depends on the cream that you use. Go for unsweetened light cream. So if you are in the Philippines, you may use all purpose cream. You will need a saucepan. A brush and a spatula. Place your sugar into the saucepan. Shake to level the sugar at the bottom of the pan. Add the water. The sugar will naturally absorb the water so there is no need to stir. Place the saucepan on medium to high heat. We start with high heat to get the sugar to dissolve and turn to golden brown. If you use low or medium heat, it will take some time for the sugar to caramelize and you lose more of your sugar to evaporation. The most important technique here is not to stir the mixture. When I say the process is simpler, it is because you don't have to do anything. You just have to watch for the sugar to caramelize by itself. Watch the sides. If you see the sides are starting to burn, use a brush dipped in water and brush the burnt sugar away. This process might take at least 5 minutes depending on the amount of sugar that you put in. Once it reaches the color that you are aiming for, turn the heat to low. Your mixture should be bubbling away all over the surface, which means your sugar has fully dissolved. If there is any area at all that has no bubbles, wait until it turns bubbly. If you're making caramel syrup, you stop here. Add caramel flavor or vanilla flavor and your caramel syrup is done. Because we are making caramel sauce, we add the cream in. It is important that you pay attention to the color of your caramel. If the color is pale brown, the resulting caramel sauce is also pale. If the color is darker, you also get a darker caramel sauce. Whilst the caramel mixture is simmering away, Mix the vanilla and cream before pouring it into the caramel mixture to save time and process. Stir the cream and vanilla mixture in. This step is critical to make sure your caramel sauce turns out beautifully. Make sure you scrape the sides so as not to burn any of the sauce. Once the ingredients are well combined, let it boil for at least one minute, then turn off the heat. Put the lid on and let it cool down. The result should be thick, creamy, and yet pourable. If you're using for shops, there is no need to keep it refrigerated during the day. Keep refrigerated if storing overnight. Just to show you what happens if you pour your cream before it turns into golden brown. So you get a very light color caramel here. So this is when my sugar turns golden brown. This is when I got impatient and I poured the heavy cream before it turns really nice brown. Let's take a look at what happens if we pour the cream and vanilla mixture in before the caramel mixture turns golden brown. As you can see in this process, I poured my cream and vanilla as soon as my sugar just about turned brown. The result is pale colored caramel sauce. The color will darken though as it gets cooler, so decide which caramel color you are looking for and go for that. 
Remember not to let the sugar simmer for too long. You would not want the mixture to evaporate too much or you will be left with hardly any sauce at all. So let's have a quick look at how they look like side by side, okay? The taste is absolutely delicious. Both of them taste good, but then, you know, sometimes the visual is very, very important as well. This is, if you get impatient, the color of your caramel sauce is on the pale side. Okay, so moral of the story, be patient. What about the taste? Well, I will give this a try. Mmm, very sweet. <laughs> anyway, let me try the pale caramel sauce. Mmm, wow, well, that tastes like candy, <laughs> so sweet. The taste equally good, it's just the color is different. If you're using this for shops, what you can do is to put them in a squeeze bottle so that's easy for you to apply as a topping or a decoration for your drinks. In my next video tutorial, I am going to show you how to make Hokkaido milk tea using my own homemade caramel sauce. For those who are wondering about the costing of this sauce, for the proportion that I made today, the total yield was one cup. For this one, I made double the proportion of the recipe in my book and I came up to 500 ml. Once you have your caramel sauce, the most commonly asked questions are, what is the shelf life? This would last for up to two weeks refrigerated. Once the caramel sauce is refrigerated, it might thicken further. So you might wish to take it out way in advance before using them. Well, I hope you find this video tutorial useful and that it will make your life a lot easier by making your own homemade caramel sauce that is absolutely foolproof. If you have any questions about these recipes, do let me know, comment below. In the meantime, stay safe, keep making great caramel sauce at home or for your shops and I'll see you again next time. In the meantime, thank you for watching. Ciao for now.